First of all, in the realm of the spirit, mm. there's no ember moons. Mm. Ember moons is physical. It's calendar made by men. Mm. There's no time in the spirit. Somebody says, well, you know, every 12 midnight, you wake up and demons will come out to carry out an operation. Mm. And they forget that 12 o'clock in Nigeria is 6 p.m. in America. <laughs> so sometimes it's illiteracy, lack of exposure that gives back, that cooks some of these old wife fables. Hi, welcome to the Preachers Portal. If you're new to this channel, please hit the like button, share, and subscribe. Uh, let's listen to Dr. Damina talk about the Ember Moons. You know, one thing we love about Dr. Damina is um, he knows what he's saying. That's just the truth. The only problem is he tries to, there is no balance in what he's saying. Dr. Damina is more of um, a logical teacher, and he said it so much in this interview with um, KKA, K that's Kelvin. Um, he said it so much that he more is more focused on the logic than the spirit, and that's why we have problem. So if you are spiritually discerning, you will be able to separate what he's saying he makes absolute sense you know so on the other hand you know when it comes to the things of the spirit he's not an authority there so let's listen to him talk about the ember mount and at the end of the video we are now going to make our own comments and observation concerning it so let's listen to him it's so good <laughs> it's ember mount yeah it's ember mount this is like the season of the first the problem. usual ember mount <laughs> september to remember september to remember <laughs> The mysterious Ember Moons. Yeah. 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 You better your angel of escort. Very important. Yeah, my blood is bitter. Crying blood. Crying not blood. my head, not <laughs> my blood. <laughs> this Ember Moon, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to ask. Yeah. Do you think that there are witches and wizards? Who usually so face during Ember Moons to cause road accidents? It's, to, it's total foolishness mm. and stupidity. First of all, in the realm of the spirit, mm. there's no Ember Moons. Mm. Ember Moons is physical. It's calendar made by men. Mm. There's no time in the spirit. Somebody says, well, you know, every 12 midnight, you mm. wake up and demons will come out <laughs> to carry out an operation. Mm. And they forget that 12 o'clock in Nigeria is 6 p.m. in America. <laughs> so sometimes it's illiteracy, lack of exposure that gives back, that cooks some of these old wife fables. There's nothing like ember moons. Satan goes about to and fro seeking for whom to devour. Mm. That's why the Bible says you resist him steadfast in the faith. Mm. This is not about time. It's not about any season of the year. That is Satan's modus operandi. He comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. So instead of promoting those old wife fables, men of God should teach believers their authority. Mm. They should teach believers what Christ has done, the power he has made available, and the victory that he has given to us so that believers can be liberated and walk in that authority that they have 247. That's what should be taught. The authority. He says the weapons are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. He said we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. He said put on the whole armor of God, mm -hmm. the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, your loins get about with truth, your shoes, preparation of the gospel of peace, the shield of faith, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. How can a believer have all this armor mm -hmm. and be afraid of Satan who does not have an armor? Mm -hmm. You are fully equipped. You have the word of God. You have the shield of faith, the sword of the spirit. Your shoes are covered. Yeah, Every part of you is covered. Why are you afraid of the devil who only has fiery darts? Mental. Fiery darts. It means something has been done to your brain. You've Mental. been you've been messed up up here. And you know, like I always say, Satan is not omnipresent. Mm. Satan cannot be in Abuja now. And at the same time in Kaduna. And at the same time in London. And at the same time in America. Mm. He's not omnipresent. Mm. He can only be in one place at one time. So people in Kaduna are binding Satan. People in Lagos are binding Satan. In America, they're binding Satan. Everywhere, Satan, Satan, Satan. And this Satan is only domiciled in one place at one time. Mm. The only person that is everywhere at the same time is God. Mm. Omnipresent. Satan is not omnipresent. He was created. Mm. So he can be everywhere. But when people are not taught soundly, and you know when there's no sound doctrine, there can be no sound life. Mm. It is soundness of your teaching that determines the quality of life you have. Mm. So believers must be properly taught. A lot of them have to be ready to unlearn, to relearn. Some don't want to unlearn. Mm. They believe that that thing they taught them since. And you know that was the problem with Job. Mm. In the book of Job. Job chapter 1, 2, 3 to 41. 41 chapters of Job. Then in 42, Job put a disclaimer on the 41 chapters. Mm. <laughs> he said, everything I said about God in chapter 1 to 41, don't take me serious. <laughs> they were based on rumor. 
Job said it himself in chapter 42 verse 5. He said, I've been hearing of you by the hearing of the ear, mm. but now my eyes see it. That word there means I all I knew about you was rumor based, what people said. And that's why you can see the confusion. Mm. In chapter 1, he said, God give it, God take it away. Okay? And then in chapter 3, he said, what I fear is what came upon me. Can you see the inconsistencies? So many people are serving God out of superstition. Mm. They have not come to a place of revelation. Mm. And you cannot come to a place of revelation until you are taught soundly the word of God. And that's why men of God that will teach the sound truth of the scripture must rise in this hour. And God is already doing it. So oh, if, if Satan is not omnipresent, yes. he can only be in one place at one time. At one time. Yes. Does that mean that majority of what is happening in this world is... Is, is not caused by the, the, the devil. Exactly. Some are not caused by the devil. Some sicknesses because, are not caused because, by the devil. Because, yeah. I mean, yeah. okay, let's assume the, the, the devil is standing by my gate. Yes, right? yes. But an accident is happening in Kaduna. Yes. Another one is happening in Enugu. Yes. And we are all blaming this devil that is here. True. That's the problem. True. That's why, again, you know, when we started talking, we said, God gave man the earth to run. Mm. The heaven, even the heavens belong to God. The earth he has given to the sons of men. We own this planet. Mm. We run this planet. Mm. God can do nothing in this planet till we permit him. Mm. That's why when he wanted to save man and no man was willing to allow him use him, he became a man. Mm. Because God can do nothing on earth. It is men that run the earth. So if man becomes careless and man becomes, you know, um, uh, uh, does not take hold of the earth, things are going to outrun this earth in a way that man will become a victim of them mm. you know it's not satan most things that we blame satan for like sickness many sicknesses are not satan mm. they are carelessness mm. bad diet bad lifestyle you know that constitute factor. environmental factors that constituted those sicknesses and satan is being blamed for them <laughs> you know there are even things that happen in life that satan is blamed for that satan is innocent <laughs> about i'm sure satan is saying oh poor me who shall, come, who shall come to my defense? <laughs> because it's not everything that Satan is behind because Satan is not only present. Mm. The only thing is that Satan has a network, mm. a network of demons mm. that are effective. Mm. So through that network, it seems to look like his works are everywhere. Mm. But remember, Jesus defeated all of them and put them under the feet of the believer. He said, behold, I give you power mm. to trample over serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the devil and nothing mm. shall bite enemies hurt you so when believers are taught their authority they recover mentally they become sound they sleep well they eat well irrespective and in spite of anything because they know that god is there for them yeah i think uh, um okay now let's analyze um this um, podcast and certainly this is our own opinion and you might have a contrary opinion certainly and certainly what dr damina is saying is not the absolute truth this is his own opinion his own angle of it because we know in part and prophesy in part and that's just the basic truth and as as eloquent as he sounds he's not saying the absolute truth because he doesn't have knowledge that encompasses this whole topic and that's just the truth he's looking at it from the logos if you listen to the interview from the beginning you know that dr damina focuses on the logos focuses on the letters alone the spiritual angle he is not an authority there and that's just the truth because we live in a world a physical world that is also ruled by spiritual that is by a spiritual world and that is just the truth whether you believe it or not you understand so listening to people like dr damina of course they are going to it's going to boost your faith but it might gradually take your mind off the spiritual aspect of the world and you might actually it might actually be disastrous so let's look at what he said about the ember mount like the ember mount is like no even in business you know the q1 the q2 the q3 and the q4 the last quarter of the year and stuff like that they even in business at the end of the year a lot of people tend to see they could recoup you understand check from the beginning of the year and that this is the last the, the traffic is moving towards the season of holidays do you understand so people are trying to see if they could gather the spoils you understand i'm talking about the fiscal world the spoils or the profit or whatever they could make because of they are moving into the holiday season the end of the year so that they're going to end well you understand so traffic begins to move people begin to buy things people begin to do this people begin to sell and all that you understand preparing for the next year so also in the realm of the spirit you understand the devil is also making that plan that is 
just the truth whether you believe it or not so that is where this concept of the whole ember moon thing comes is it right for saying that there is not devil operates every day you understand to, for, for for satan there is nothing like ember moon he is always working the bible says moving to and fro looking for who to, he's always looking for who to devour but why people say this ember moon thing is because of the push in traffic however some pastors now monetize it you understand they now you know, they now monetize it or glorify it beyond the necessary and that is where the problem is people begin to put programs people begin to put a lot of things like making this season of the year very scary which is the wrong part of it but the consciousness or the awareness or the awakening of the believer that this is a season because this world that we are li we live in is ruled by times and seasons there are times and there are seasons so it's not every season that is your season and it's not every season that is an ordinary season there is a particular time timing is important now secondly he talked about 12 midnight and all that this is also to show his own level you understand where he 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 has limited himself to the, the, the theology of the scripture you understand there is a spiritology there is a spiritual aspect and that is where he is not an authority you know when a pastor has said it before when people say ah when you wake up 12 midnight to pray ah the prayer is different the prayer is different you are saying it because of your own level of understanding there is time and season you understand when times are mentioned and at midnight one hour two hours do you understand when times are mentioned in the scriptures it is for a particular reason there is nothing that is written in the bible in the 66 books of the bible that is a waste there is nothing there is always a message behind it spiritually and physically and the knowledge of them both will help you to apply them perfectly and that's just the truth so if you if you want to say oh like 12 midnight the day, we are in nigeria now we're 12 midnight then maybe in california they're in the afternoon or they're in the evening or somewhere else and you are saying that the devil is no you are you are missing the point because devil operates in network that is the truth so when he said um satan is not um omnipresent yes satan is not omnipresent but was satan moving with peter was satan inside peter when jesus looked at him and said get the behind me satan for what he said do you understand satan is not omnipresent but satan operates in people satan operates everywhere do you understand that's just the truth so if you if you if you if you try to to logicalize or to just to use theories alone to explain this concept you might not have the full picture and, and you understand we love the fact that he is doing this you know theoretic theoretically but at the same time the spirit there must be weight in the spiritual aspect of it which he doesn't have and that's just the truth then when he talked about sickness sicknesses are afflictions that is normal if you don't see sickness and as, as an affliction you will not be able to tackle sicknesses that happens that come from generational lineage there are many people that they have the best of the the health the, uh, diet they have the best of the health they live healthy but yet they are victims of generational sicknesses there are sicknesses and they say oh this is in your gene this is genetic do you understand how do you deal with that do you understand now there's the aspect the human factor bad dieting bad habits can lead to a lot of sickness if you are giving to cig um, cigarettes you're giving to smoking and drugs and all that you might you might expose yourself to cancer to tuberculosis and all that but what if you are not you understand exposing yourself to these factors even the environmental factors that we're talking about here and you are still sick that means to tell you that sickness is an affliction it's an affliction so how do you deal with an affliction do you understand you need to deal with an affliction so satan is responsible for that that is the truth because when jesus was asked this boy why was he born this way and jesus christ said is that the name of the lord will be glorified the devil can tamper with a good gift that is the truth the bible says the kingdom of god is likened to a man that sowed seed do you understand and he went his way he sowed seed in his field and he went his way and what happened the bible says why men slept the enemy came and sowed tears when it was time for harvest god said allow both of them to grow then when it is time i will send forth the reaper angels to separate the wheat you understand from the tears and burn the tears so when the tears and the weeds are growing that's an affliction in the life of a believer that's an affliction you understand and the lord said he will send reapers to separate it you understand so there are people with the ministry to do that you get so he is right for saying satan is not responsible for 
every affliction or every sickness but satan is also responsible for sicknesses so there must be a balance you say yes there are people that there are sicknesses that are health you know inflicted many people put this upon themselves and also there is the aspect where the devil is responsible for it and that's just the truth so we love this interview we have seen the full of this interview there are a lot of things that dr damina said here that are very very correct you understand then there are lots of things that are also questionable and we're going to be dealing with them in the next video that we're going to upload this is the preacher's portal if you're new to this channel please hit the like button share and subscribe